We are loving this fall weather. And it's look nice. at this sunset tonight. I want to step out of the picture because it's just absolutely spectacular. You can see the colors in the horizon there. And if you're out for an evening walk, make sure you grab that light jacket. 70 degrees right now. We've got a north wind at 7 miles per hour. That north wind at times was closer to about 15 miles per hour earlier today, making it just a little bit breezy out there. We'll have another cool morning after starting off in the 40s this morning. We'll be at 53 degrees tomorrow morning. A cool start, but then those afternoon clouds clouds start to build up. That's because another weather system is on the way. I want you to look at this low pressure system though up in the Gulf of Alaska and starting to move towards Canada. This is going to be the main powerhouse that is going to drive wave after wave of wet weather our way and keep us on the mild side with some occasional cool evenings. All right, the cloud cover coming in and I know we've got that partial eclipse. The maximum will be about 315 in the afternoon on Thursday and it looks like from the timing of this next weather system, it's going to be obscured. Again, the low pressure system, the main motor just kind of driving wave after wave. So we'll put this into motion and what you'll be able to see is that first wave coming in. It looks like during Thursday afternoon. So right about the time that we start that morning commute, it will be just north of I-80 and then dives its way southward by about noontime. So at about three o'clock, we've got that band of rain riding right along I-80 there. As we head through the afternoon, it will really start to clear out. And Friday, for the most part, at this point in the timing, looks like it'll be a dry day, but here comes that next wave getting ready to move through late on Friday, continuing through our Saturday forecast. Could be a nice organized system for us. All right, now I want to jump ahead from Sunday and Monday into next week because next week is Halloween. All right, here comes that low once again, just kind of guiding things as we make our way through next week. And as we start to move our way towards that Halloween forecast, that next system will be positioned just uh, north of us and just off the coast. And it looks like most of the rain by Halloween will be moving off to our east. It may be a cool Halloween, but right now it's shaping up like it will be a dry one. Tonight will be cool for the Sierra. Overnight lows dropping into the 20s with afternoon highs in the 60s. Five day forecast very windy. In fact, they're calling for turbulent conditions for aircraft into our Friday forecast as that weather system rolls on through Friday night into Saturday. We see the rain and the snow moving in for the coast. We've got 67 for San Francisco inland. We're up to about 74 for Fairfield in the northern San Joaquin Valley. Pretty pleasant fall day and those colors are changing throughout the valley. It's just so spectacular right now. You just want to savor it. Highs will be in the mid 70s for tomorrow afternoon after starting off in the low to mid 50s and we'll see those temperatures as well through the Sacramento area. Just picture perfect, I'd say. All right, the 10 day planner and we've got some nice little waves of wet weather moving through late on Thursday or I should say late on Friday through Saturday after that slight chance on Thursday and then again next week, Wednesday into Thursday should clear out of here though mm -hmm. for Halloween right around oh, 70. Great. great timing. I know, hopefully yeah. that timing holds true. Yes. All right. Monica, thanks. thanks.